Okay, we are in. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you. I really appreciate each and every one of you uh, that uh, watching those uh, videos. Uh, today we are uh, starting the summer season 2022 and uh, we are after a place and uh, anything else. We'll see how the conditions are. It's easterly today um, and southeast most of the day but should be not too much wind so it should be okay and uh, yeah a few new modification with the camera I'm charging it and I'm using the wireless GoPro so the plan is to drift for place and we'll see maybe we're gonna anchor maybe we're gonna go to the wreck if uh, the condition are okay to give it a little bit of uh, uh, jigging um looking forward to uh, show you some action and activity so i'll see you out there castanet fishing and kayak adventures tight lines uh, i thought i thought it's 24 hours wow. it's not <laughs> maybe huh yeah, if it stay like this, should be okay, should be good. So the tide still go out until 9.30. Yeah. So basically it goes, it goes to the west, it goes right. Yeah. So I think we should go a bit left. We're gonna anyway drift right. Yeah. And then it's gonna drift uh, the, other, the other direction. Yeah. Gorgeous day, huh? Yeah, I Place, maybe mackerels? I don't know if they are here. It's too cold maybe yet, I don't know. Okay. Now we're sitting and we are waiting for the bite. First fish. Oh, two. Okay. Double shot, yeah. Lovely. I probably got on, uh, what do you call it? Uh, school of them. Yeah. Same size. But, you see, no blank. Yeah. Yeah, they are small, I won't take them. Yeah, small one. Tiny one. Not even a toddler. So, another place. Not a huge one, but better than before. But I have here an issue with the other. A bit better, but still small. Again, he took it so deep. Fish on, small, they are small. Already fish on. This is a better one. Not big, but a better one.
they're all the same size, they're all... quite small. Oops. Bit better. Yeah, a bit better. That's a keeper. Maybe 33. We might go to the rack. Fish on. Same size. So I'm gonna pass it. So we're gonna drift over it behind the buoy. Okay. Probably pouting. Pouting on the feather. It's a good live bait. the bottom what you on the anchor yeah, just another, one. another one ah lost it I hope that drift is going to be better I need to figure out the drift because none of them is the same and uh, you have only one shot over the wreck. Now it should be okay. Shit. Losing them. Small bites on the tail. Small bites. <laughs> kidding me? You kidding me? Okay, I changed to jig. Then at forty grams. That should work. Now I'm passing the wreck and I'm snagging the wreck. Fish on. Better one. It's 
Stephen. <laughs> if you pass, if you pass the uh, the wreck and you didn't catch, you have to go back. Yeah. I mean, then basically you're not going to catch probably a fish. Like 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 now, I was on the wreck, caught a fish. Oh, that's a better one. That's a better one. That's a nice pout. Straight in the mouth. Shut up. Hoo -hoo. The bait. I'm going for a big conga. So I have a bite on that rod while I was changing the battery on uh, my uh, head camera. Uh, probably a dogfish. Probably a dogfish. See, I need to change the hook because the hook was buried. That hook wasn't. Uh, no, it's spouting. It's a pouting on the squid. Yeah, pouting on squid. So while uh, we are fishing, uh, I'm gonna do a short. A video separated video although you will be able to have the link for that video on top here um, just to give a brief uh, I cannot call it a review but um, that's the first time I'm checking this uh, setup with my uh, GoPro and the uh, Rode Wireless Go What did I get here? No. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's I think that one I think it's a conger. I think it went into the into the wreck because I couldn't take it out. Again dogfish. I can't believe it. My god. Okay, I need to use the not to use the squid because the squid is a is a dogfish. Uh. What? Probably another one. Bream, bream, bream. I got the bream on the squid. <laughs> that made the day. Nice bream, look. Yeah, it was it was a bream bite. What a nice bream, look. Ooh. Yes. Yes. No, I mean they are here. They're already here. It's hot. It's summer. And they will take squid. Bite here. Oh. Oh. Man. Oh.
I'm not sure I can deal with this uh, setup because whatever it is, it went. Oh, look at that. What is it? It started as a, as a small bite and I let it uh, develop. But that's it, it's snagged me. Ah. No idea what it is. Steven, I have no idea what it is. It's probably, it's not a dogfish, it's not a pouting, it's not a bream, it can be conga. Yeah, but I think he went in. I feel the, the shakes. But I don't feel that I pull it that I pull it up. Yeah, I don't pull it up. I think I need to give it slack a little bit. Huh? I don't understand. Oh look it drugs the kayak. No, come out. I just hope not to lose it. I think I took it out. Don't understand why the head camera doesn't work. I just changed the battery. GoPro sometimes. It's a ray. It's a big ray. It's a huge ray. Man, so many species I had today. My God, it's a huge ray. Oh, uh -huh. it's a throny, but it's a big one. Yeah, it felt like a ray, but I didn't think the ray will bite today. I don't know why. My God, it's huge. I think it's my, my personal best, Ray. Oh my God, I didn't close it. I didn't close the... And it's gone, gone, gone. I didn't close the, <laughs> the bait caster. Oh, look! Thornback, yeah. Wow, it's a big thornback. On, uh, I need to check because this rig had uh, the bottom had squid and the top had mackerel. I think it's on the mackerel. I told you to get, uh, I can give you some, I have, I have enough. Uh, yeah, that's double figure. Heavy. I don't know if I can try to take okay I'm gonna let you go in a second doesn't want to open his
is 24 inches. I don't know if you can see, but it's 24 inches. 24 inches. Don't know how much is in centimeter. My biggest tray was 57, I think. So I think this is might be a bit more. Okay. Okay. Give him some recovery. Off he goes! Beauty. White thing! <laughs> How can you do without whiting? Even in uh, April. Another dogfish. So, um, yeah, I had a quite nice mixed bag, uh, started with place, they were small, as you saw, uh, then uh, on the wreck the pouting was, again, small, a few of them were uh, okay, but most of them were uh, tiny, then uh, when the tide turned and uh, there was slack water, there was no bite on the wreck, uh, so we decided to anchor. Uh, next to the wreck, I'm uh, fishing, hopefully close to the wreck with the right rod, uh, casting it towards the wreck, which is on my right. And uh, with uh, the left rod, I uh, can't do that, so I'm just uh, casting uh, forward. And uh, yeah, I got a, a nice uh, mixed bag. Uh, bream that I didn't expect to get today, um, Thornback Ray, of 24 inch, it's definitely my PB because my uh, best uh, thrown back ray was 57 centimeter. So yeah, uh, whiting as well, dogfish, five, six of them. Um, nice uh, mixed bag. Okay, last drift on the wreck before I uh, call it a day and uh, adding back in. It's uh, 20 to 5. I have at least uh, 45 minutes paddling. So I had a fish and I lost it. Uh, good one, probably pouting, but uh, it's okay. Just to have a good day, just to finish it with a sweet taste and uh, maybe to show you the last fish. Last one, last one. Okay. Another one. This is a wrap, folks. Thank you for watching, please if you like, like if you dislike, dislike. If you would like to see more content of Castanet Fishing and Kayak Adventures, please subscribe to the channel. We're going to have a great uh, spring, summer 2022. Thank you for being with me so far in this video. See you next time.